The Regal Spectrum Analyzer VB1020 option and utility kit are good tools to help with antenna design and characterization. This combination provides complete measurement of antenna resonance frequency, antenna bandwidth, return loss, reflection factor, and voltage standing wave ratio. The VB1020 has three connectors, an input for the TG or tracking generator output, the output to the spectrum analyzer RF input, and then an opening for the DUT, the tested device. With an open DUT port with no connection, the bridge is in a total reflection state. When connected to an antenna or other circuit, part of that signal energy is reflected. This reflected energy is known as the return loss of the antenna at a specified frequency. We can then use the return loss to calculate the reflection coefficient and voltage standing wave ratio. Let's test a VHF UHF antenna as an example to introduce VSWR measurements. First, connect the VB1020 to the spectrum analyzer and leave the DUT connection open. Note, to ensure we get better amplitude accuracy, we should choose a small RBW value to reduce our DANL. Open the VSWR measurement function and perform an open calibration, recording the result as total reflection. Then connect the antenna to the DUT connector, press VSWR menu, and the spectrum analyzer will perform the VSWR measurement automatically and display the measurement result. Adjusting the reference level to make all the traces display in a suitable location. As the picture shows, the purple trace 2 is a result of total reflection, yellow trace 1 is the result of the reflection after the connection to the DUT, and the green trace shows the return loss measurement result. From the green trace, we can see the antenna has multiple resonant points. Let's open four markers and adjust each marker to the four resonant points. we can get the return loss, reflection coefficient, voltage standing wave ratio at each of those resonant points. And we can see that according to the frequencies, uh, this is a typical amateur radio antenna. Its first resonant point is at 145 megahertz, which is within the 144 megahertz to 146 megahertz of a VHF amateur band. The second and fourth resonant points are close to 430 and 440 megahertz, also 1240 to 1300 megahertz segment of the UHF, but it's not completely the same. This indicates that this is, may not be a perfect antenna for the UHF amateur band. We can change the center frequency and span to observe a particular resonant point, and it's possible that we can also measure the 3 dB bandwidth at this resonant point. This concludes our introduction of using a spectrum analyzer and VSWR bridge to test antennas. The key points are we want to connect the VB1020 to the spectrum analyzer. We want to open the tracking generator, perform a calibration open, connect the antenna, and then perform our VSWR method.